Hello folks, I'm Abfielder. Welcome to my tutorial series for Lightmatica. The first one will show you how to install Lightmatica and then the subsequent videos will show you all the amazing things we can do with it. So let's get started. So then this is the Minecraft launcher we have on screen and I am selected on the Java edition and just here where we have latest release, if I click on the drop down, you can see I have two options at the moment. We need to get Fabric installed so that we can install Lightmatica. So from here, the next thing I wanna show you is if we click on installations, and we hover over latest release, we can get to the game files. Now this is important because this is where the mods will go later on. So if we can click on here, open installations folder, that's gonna open Windows Explorer. Now I have got some extra folders in here that you will not see, and that's because I had Fabric installed before I did this video, and I don't wanna lose all my settings and break the game. But the important thing here is that I do not have a folder called mods. So I've got mod translations and mod data, but I do not have one that says mods. That's really important. From here then, we just need to download and install Fabric. So if you go to your browser, go to fabricmc.net, I'll put a link in the description below, click download. And from here, as long as you're on Windows, click download for Windows going to download an exe and from here if you're in chrome you can simply click this folder to show your downloads or if you just open windows explorer and go to your downloads folder and you can see we've got fabric installer 1.01 and just double click on that that will open the installer and from here select the version for me that's 1.21.4 Generally, lead the loader version at whatever it's selected, and unless you're doing it in a different profile, you've changed something, that's gonna be fine as well. That's the folder we were at before. So just click Install. And yes, we do need to close the Minecraft launcher. Click Yes, if you get that once you've closed it, and then boom, we've installed it. Okay, now if we close that, we're done there. If we open the launcher again, and that's open on my second screen. You can see we now have Fabric Loader 1.21.4. We just go back to the installations tab now. We've got the uh, we've got it there, and this is actually going to be in the exact same folder we were in before. And if I open that now, we do have that mods folder. So let's just launch that once without any mods installed at all. Make sure everything's good. When you click play, you are gonna get a warning saying this is a modded version. They can't guarantee the support, player safety, all that kind of stuff. Blah, 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 tick it. All good, click play. Waiting on the install, shouldn't take too long. And then preparing. And then he says, hopefully we will have the game launch. Took a while, I had to switch scenes, but there we are. The game has launched. We have now got Fabric modded. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it tells me that this is Fabric modded. So next we need to quit this game and install Lightmatica. Once you've exited the game, then you need to go to modrinth.com. And again, I'll put a link in the description below and we need Lightmatica and we also need Malilib, which is kind of a library mod that has a lot of the functionality in. So on Lightmatica, click download in the top right-hand corner. We haven't got the Modrinth app, so select a game version, 1.21.4 for me, and select the platform, which is Fabric. Click download, and then go to Malilib and do the exact same thing. Select the same game version, select GIF loader, which is Fabric, and click download. And from here, didn't open this time. You can see I've recorded this more than once. Open your folder, your downloads folder. We've got the two mods, so just click and hold in a blank bit of space here and then select those two. Right click on one of them, doesn't matter which. Select cut and then we need to go back to our game profile. So if you haven't got it open, go to your game launcher, go to installations, select the fabric one and open the installations folder. Go to your mods folder and then right click in some blank space and click paste. With that done, all you need to do is launch the game. So go back to your launcher and click play. Once it's loaded, you can go into any world. I'm just going to go into my, I'll go into my Lightmatica top 10 world. And all I'm going to do is hit the M key once this loads, the M for mic. And that should open your Lightmatica config menu and boom, you have installed Lightmatica. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more in this series of Lightmatica tutorials and visit abfielder.com, the number one place to go and get Lightmatics. For now though, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Abfielder, goodbye.